Hi, welcome to Barney Tech Channel. Here we are going to see about generator rotor earth fault production. On generator, normally we consider two big part. One is stator and the other one is rotor. Because all synchronized generator, the input is rotor, which produces change in magnetic field with the help of turbine and exciter. And from the stator, the output power is taken depend on rotor speed and magnetic field. So rotor is very important in generator. For rotor, we have many production. On that, we are going to see earth fault production over here. When we see the effect on earth fault over the rotor, first it reduces the magnetic flux on rotor, so it affect on output of stator. Second, it make magnetic imbalance on rotor, which lead to vibration and bearing failure due to the force imbalance on rotor. Okay, now we will see how to detect the earth fault on rotor. There are many methods using for detecting earth fault. In that we are going to see a three method. First one is potentiometer method. Second one is AC source injection method. Third one is DC source injection method. Now we will see one by one. First the potential method. It is very easy and simple method to find the earth fault on rotor. Normally this is used in very low power generator. If you see the construction of this method, the circuit is parallel between the rotor coil and exciter. The high resistor is connected and from this high resistance, the center point is taken to voltage relay through grounding. During normal operating time, the DC current will flow from the exciter to rotor coil and the current will not take this high resistor path. So there will not be any wastage of power due to this additional circuit. And also the current will not take from the relay to earthing point since the system does not have any other earthing point so there is no possible of current flow in through the relay since there is no closed path let us consider the rotor coil as earth fault now the current will get path from the relay earthing point and due to this high resistor ground the fault current will not be very high but the relay will detect the fault. In this method, we have one disadvantage. Since the resistor is in center tapping point, if the coil has any fault on center position, then there will not be any potential difference between the fault area and relay earthing point. So there will not be any current flow on this point. Since there is no potential difference, the relay will not operate. And also, Due to this earth fault, there will not be much effect on rotor. But in case if second earth fault occurs, then there will be a high current flow and magnetic imbalance will occur on rotor. By this we came to the end. On next section we will see source injection method to find the rotor earth fault. We came to the end of this section. See you on next video. If you like this section, then please share to your friends and colleagues. Take care and bye from Barney Tech channel. Thank you for watching this video.